Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. I got a GPU mining video today. I'm going to be talking specifically regarding about my Radeon 7s. These Radeon 7s have been the, probably the bane of my existence. You, you guys all know, or for those that have been with me for a long time over the past six or seven years, I've had many great times with Radeon 7s. I've bricked Radeon 7s, Code 43 Radeon 7s. You know it. You guys have seen those videos. But more so, I'd say this past year, I did make a 12 by Radeon 7 rig here. And I think I initially made it for Dynex. Okay, I did have them split up into different rigs before. Uh, but now they're, they were all normally on Dynex. But more so over the past couple of months, I have changed them over to mining ergo uh, more so the past couple of months and then now i have them on block x because block x just changed their algorithm to auto lycos uh, v2 okay so pretty cool and so is it profitable i'll just straight straight away is this rig profitable for mining uh block x on this radeon 7 rig no it's not okay i'm actually at my around eight cents kilowatt hour i'm losing about 59 cents a day okay but i'm yielding about 32.84 block x a day okay so i got a lot of things i'm just gonna talk with you guys here about what miner i'm using and also what's to come i may be you know mining zealous on this rig once you know maybe one zero miner comes out with their miner but we'll talk about all that right after a word from today's video sponsor. ASICplug.com, your premier source for top tier crypto mining equipment, US owned and operated based in Lockhart, Texas. They provide the latest ASIC miners directly from the top manufacturers today. With years of enterprise level experience, their US based team ensures you get high quality, reliable hardware at the best possible prices. Their mission, to empower you in the exciting world of cryptocurrency mining and to provide you with stateside service of peace of mind. Visit ASICplug.com today and start mining with confidence okay so my radeon 7 rig such a beautiful rig it's probably one of my favorite cards in the whole world in terms of its looks and i guess you could say i have a love-hate relationship with these cards the radeon 7s haven't really been that great over the past year or in a bit you know ever since of course ethereum days the radeon 7s were you know 100 mega hash monsters right mining Ethereum back in the day, but that's obviously long gone for like two and a half years now. But I am still mining with my 12 Radeon 7s here. Okay, so I have a bunch that are Hynix memory and a few of them that are Samsung memory. So why am I on Block X? Okay, well, I'm on this coin because they just changed Algo recently. And uh, yeah, only supported on a few mining pools right now. Right now I'm on WoolyPooly, okay, dot uh, com. Not sponsored, but here's the rig. You guys can see on the web GUI here. I just joined BlockX about yeah a couple hours ago before recording this video. But before that, I did have this rig on mining Ergo, and I was getting about 1382 mega hash for the whole rig on Ergo. But I'm getting the exact same on BlockX. So which is more profitable at this point in time? And do I care about profitability? Not really, but right now, which is more profitable? Looks like Ergo would have been more profitable right now. I should have just stayed with Ergo, but no, I want to try to accumulate some Block X now. I have a decent amount of Ergo already, so I'm already holding that, but now Block X, okay, for my AMD cards. Now, I probably should move over some NVIDIA cards, but this is just mainly about Radeon 7s, okay? So I have my Radeon 7s right now on Wooly Pooly mining block X and then as well as my overclocks. Now this is something some people may, I, I, I know not many people here have Radeon 7s or some of you guys do. Um, here are my overclock settings here. I'll just show it on the screen here uh, that I have for uh, block X for the auto Lycos V2 algorithm. These are overclocks that our beloved Overbortech set up for me about I think half a year ago. He He's played around with this rig a lot. And so these core clocks, core voltage, memory clock that he has here, uh, these were like really efficient settings for Auto Lycos algorithm. As well as the uh, AMD mem tweak, we have these enabled as well. It's dependent on if you have Hynix and Samsung. So you're gonna have to uh, add the config 
uh, between those. So I have six and seven are my Samsung cards. All right, and then the advanced uh, AMD config, you'll just have to click on the Samsung. Uh, if you click on the little I uh, dot a circle here, it should come up with the uh, memory timings here where you can just click on it and it will go into, uh, into here. Mind you, there are a few different parameters here that are different from this. I think Oval Vortec did change uh, some of it here, uh, but you guys can look at it here. And then of course the Hynix, uh, memory tweak here. He has them for uh, here, which I believe is the same as what uh, HiveOS has uh, as the parameter here for the AMD mem tweak. Okay, so that's for the rest of my uh, cards. All right, so that's what I have here. So it's been pretty, it's pretty efficient, I'd have to say, on uh, mining with these AMD cards or Radeon 7s on Block X or even Ergo for that matter, but it's just nice to see that you know I'm under about there's 12 cards here. The Octo Miner takes about an, another like 150 watts for the fans, motherboard, etc. So generally, each card I think is pulling like 100 watts, give or take. So this is a really nice low power coin that uh, Radeon 7s can mine, which is great. I did try mining like Kapow on these cards, but it's it, they just burn up. I I have to repad, repaste, or no. They don't have a pad. It's like a, a thermal pad, I think, for all of them. So that's something where I don't want to open these up because you guys all know, or most of you guys know, that these cards are glass cannons. You touch them, take them out, move them five feet, they'll die. Okay, I've had that many times. You guys have you've seen those videos. But anyways, let me talk about now. Okay, so SRB Miner um, is the one that I'm using here. I'll show you guys the flight sheet. I forgot to talk about this. I'll show you the flight sheet that I have here. Uh, for block X. So they have a coin. Okay. And then uh, I just specified block X and then the wallet. I just have the block X wallet. And then the pool, um, they don't, uh, according to HiveOS right now, they don't have many uh, pre populated. They have a phalanx mine here. I didn't choose that. I just did configure in minor and I chose SRB minor currently for the Radeon 7s and then set up minor config here. And then this is what I have. Okay, there's the parameters there. There is, um, I did have an issue initially where it was set on Autolycos 2, uh, but it wasn't mining to Wooly Pooly because the uh, hash algorithm was the wrong one, even though it's it says Autolycos 2, right? But SRB Miner, they have the, the specific parameter for block X underscore Autolycos. So that, this will, you will need to ch make sure you change because it doesn't, auto uh, HiveOS doesn't automatically change it for you. So if you're having errors, which I did, wasn't connecting to the pool, make sure the hash algorithm is correct. Okay, so wallet, worker name, the pool, which again, I'm trying Wooly Pooly and seems to be seems to be working pretty good. So that's, yeah, save and apply the changes and you're off to the races already of mining Block X, uh, whether you want to or not. Um, is it profitable? Well, according to, as I'm recording this video, um, looks like uh, Ergo is a little bit better, but I'm still losing money, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So now I want to quickly touch on what I'm excited for, hopefully, is that one zero miner comes out with the AMD implementation, okay? So uh, hopefully with my Radeon 7s and heck, even all my other AMD GPUs, uh, like my 6700 XTs, which are on Clore right now, and as well as uh, I do have some uh, 5700 XTs. These are great cards. I am hoping that I can then move majority of these cards to Zealous. And if one zero miner comes out with a Zealous, uh, optimized Zealous miner, that would be awesome, right? So that's what I've heard um, through the Zealous Discord, just reading through there. Uh, one zero miner is working on getting a AMD uh, miner. Okay, so that's going to be really cool. But for now, right now, as a low power coin, I'm mining on my Radeon 7s. It's going to be Block X. Okay, so I know if you go to hashrate.no, you're not going to see Block X. You're not going to see Zealous uh, or you're not going to see uh, even Ergo on this list, right? Hashrate.no doesn't even have Ergo. And I've been mining Ergo on my Radeon 7s for the past like <laughs> for the past like six months. Okay, they've been going on Ergo for the longest time. And the reason for that, again, is because low power, low power algorithm. I didn't want to run my cards hot on a Kapow algorithm, which is quite hot, okay, 150 watts plus. 
but you're getting like 35 mega hash on, on the Radeon 7s, which is pretty cool. And I did have a thought of moving my Radeon 7s to uh, Telest AI, and uh, but it's essentially a, like a Kapow algo, I believe. So it, it's, again, a hot algorithm, which I, I didn't want to move my Radeon 7s to currently. But anyways, guys, that's what all I want to talk about in this video. Let me know uh, what you guys think. And uh, if you're excited for the the one zero minor update, I think it's coming pretty soon for AMD cards for zealous mining. OK, so that'll be exciting. But in the meantime, let's uh, I'm going to I'm accumulating some block X here uh, and whether or not if it's going to have price appreciation, who knows? But it's awesome that they moved to a GPU mineable algorithm from, I believe, uh, the Dash uh, D9s or the Dash algorithm. Okay, so I'll see you on the next video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you guys are mining Block X or Zealous or let me know what you're mining down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.